We're here in the studio portion of the house and I'm working on a series of pieces from a 2018 trip to Vietnam from central to south Vietnam and I'm continuing using urban imagery speaking to the changes of, in the landscape pieces that reference have ghost doors, ghost windows from buildings that have been torn down so my process involves photo transfers. So these are images that I took while traveling. I have a series of eight in action right now, and they come from these uh, transfer films. So I use photo transfer in a very experimental sort of way because I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking to disrupt and break up the clear source image in order to dive in then next in a painterly way. So these are from Hong Kong, from Kowloon, the same process um, from a January 2018 trip. I've been to Hong Kong three times in the past two years and so I've a lot of developing work surrounding like the shifts in the economy as a result of actions from our own country and so these are taken from rooftops to really immerse myself more in like the higher level tier, the experience of this very vertical city. I have five that I'm working on that are in my studio that are close to completion and it's the acrylic paint and photo. So what happens with these guys is that I will transfer them once again, likely to canvas. It may be linen or tarp. I'm not sure yet, but likely to the same canvas because there's something about one image, one reality repeated where we're seeing, seeing different fragments of a photo, different elements of one viewpoint, one perspective. And I really like taking one moment, one photo and showing it in various different forms. It's been something I've been doing with in my work for close to a decade and it's, it's developing. So the photo transfer process allows me even to get three transfers off of one image because this piece over here, this is the first transfer pool for lack of a better word. And so I'm getting remnants of this image, but there's so much left on the, the transfer film. So I might get three transfers off one image and you can see sometimes I have just a little bit of information, but in the end, I might just be working with a texture from this image that people can't even recognize as an image. And so there's like a, there are large steps of abstraction and just working off elements in the photograph that happen in the developing series. So these two pieces from my Hong Kong series are showing different elements that speak to more specific sort of narrative of the people who are living in these buildings. Um, architecture has always been my vernacular. It's a way for me to access kind of the experience of home and of place. And even with these photos here, there's so many systems of communication of these satellites reaching out and trying to connect beyond like beyond the home and then there are all the support systems, the infrastructure, and even you can see the cars in the upper left, like turning around the corner. So my work's been investigating home and place and, and how, you know, prosperity or, or growth or time is affecting the experience of the individual in the home. So it gets um, to the heart of the matter sometimes when I'm able to dive in and have these tiny little potential access points, the windows, the doors, the clothing, you know, signs of humanity that run through the work. So this piece is also taken in Kowloon, but this more monumental presence, this air conditioning tower that kind of looms as like a symbol of strength in the city on these rooftops with these complicated support structures, it almost seems like something we should have such a great respect for but it's also it's a dystopian sort of psychological space and the photo transfer process even allows the mark of process the mark of almost a skin-like texture which starts intersecting with you know this sort of um man-made structure that seems so obtrusive and solid at the same time. 
I'm using different colors in a lot of my work. I use copper and gold to connect with industry and prosperity. And there's a whole history behind the copper industry that I am connected to through Peru that extends internationally and affects all of us who use iPhones and <laughs> drive Teslas because the lithium comes from the copper mines, um, literally from the area where my family is in Peru. And it's just an international condition. So this is like um, my second or third studio series. <laughs> so these are um, another, this is another way I work with photography in that I take one source image from Hong Kong and I, I literally shatter it through a video performance piece and I use fragments of the photograph to create a series of collages. So this is one source photograph from Hong Kong that I used to create this series of work. And they're almost done. <laughs> and this is for an artist. Any wall is a good wall. I just keep using the available space. So this is a series done in the same way from 2018 from Peru called Desert Intersections. And it's one source image that's used to create a series of nine panels.